you see that a goat is lying down and it's making a running motion, mm. then you know it's, it's most hot probably hot water. Yeah. If you're a goat farmer, then you definitely know that hot water is one of the most dangerous diseases. Well, yeah, I've seen the symptoms twice okay. um, in, in the three years, yeah. and one of the goats I've lost. Yeah. Hello there. Do you know about hot water? It's a very fatal disease that is bothering a lot of livestock farmers, especially in West Africa now. And do you know it's caused by ticks? I didn't know that. So apparently it's not just West African farmers who are who are battling with this with this disease. Yes, it is actually quite common among livestock everywhere, no matter the geographical location. So here at this farm in South Africa, um, we are going to talk to the farmer to give us practical knowledge on how they deal with this particular disease. Stay tuned as I flip the camera over to Fred and the farmer here and to share some practical knowledge on how to deal with this fatal disease called heart water. Stay tuned. Hi guys, so as you guys know, I'm back in South Africa again, buying goats for those of you that have placed an order with us so that we can bring this quality genetics of boa goats, Kalahari and Savannah into West Africa. Today I'm here at a farm to select goats, but um, so far so good. I've loved the, gen the genetic that we've seen, but I know there is one problem that we face a lot in West Africa, mm -hmm. which is heart water disease. So today I want to speak to the farmer herself, learn now her experience in goat farming, and hopefully she can help us with some new ideas. <laughs> some ideas, just what you do. We are not saying you're a vet, but you know, we believe in learning from the farmers themselves because yeah. you've practiced it, you've done it. Yeah. So, um, how long have you been a goat farmer? Uh, about three years. About three yes. years now. And you breed what and what? Uh, savannah and boar goats. Savannah and boa goats. Yes. Okay, great. So, what do you know about hot water, first of all? Okay, this is a very harsh hot water area. Okay. So, our goats are mostly not effect, affected as much because mm -hmm. they are their immunity is quite high because they've been born here. Most of okay. them have been born here. Okay. Um, but we have had hot water with goats that we've bought on auction mm -hmm. uh, that are not from hot water areas. Okay. Um, I have lost some of some them, good, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the, what I did was. And Before you go to that, maybe the symptoms. How do you know if a goat has hot water or not? Um, well, you can you can obviously see when your goats are not feeling well. Yes. Yeah. And then if you see that a goat is lying down and it's making a running motion, mm. Mm. then you know it's, it's most hot probably hot water. Yeah. Mm. Um, they also don't eat well then. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. take the temperature yeah. if it's too high. Uh, yeah. I think it's about yeah. about thirty five. Yeah then you know that there's a serious problem. So yeah. my first resolve is always oxytetracycline. Oxytetracycline, yes. Okay. Okay. So we, we use a drug called Hi-Tech. Uh, I've had huge su success. Hi-Tech. Yes. Verna, are you listening? Hi-Tech, that's what we need in West Africa. So Verna is here. He's our vet. He's been giving us all the medication that you he guys use. Him, yeah. So he knows it. He needs to give us he something. He does about his oxytetracycline. Okay. Um, with, the, with the lambs, we've never had hot water. Okay. Um, yeah, so we've been actually been very fortunate. With okay, that. so you do Aussie, and then do you do it with something else or just that? Do you do it like complex A and E or just the Aussie the antibiotics? Just the antibiotics. Just that. And then yeah. how often do you give? Let's say, yeah, if you see the symptoms. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've seen the symptoms twice okay. um, in in the three years, yeah. and one of the goats I've lost. Yeah. Um, so we don't we don't vaccinate against it um, because in effect you then have to really make the goat sick yeah but we do try to to do a block for for hot water when they arrive here okay we get them give them oxytetracycline within the first week or so that they okay. here and then after that we give multivax p plus which is uh, um, for um, pneumonia, pneumonia. And then I think in the second and the third week we do oxytetracycline again. But I have a whole program that I can, can share, with, share with you. 
That's great. Did you hear that? He's gonna share the program with us and obviously we'll share with you all so that together we don't lose these animals. You know, they go through a lot for us to buy from here, ship them to Ghana, taxes and all of that. And it's always painful when I hear farmers losing their animal because of hot water mm. and it's, it's sad, you know. Mm. I had a farmer contacted me, he's lost a lot of animals to win mm. and he's asking me what does he do. So I think programs like this can help yeah. a lot of farmers. Yeah. So we'll be happy to have that and be able to share with farmers that we especially how do we block it what yeah. causes it um ticks. Tick. oh right and i think because in west africa our farms are very small mm. so somebody might be farming this on just two acres mm. or one acre that means that they are very confined and yes, therefore they and can... the ticks go from the one to the other exactly so that is also very important then to to exercise tick control parasite mm. control yes um, and dip them or you know we use a pawn or pawn. something. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, I mean, we'll take the advice, we'll get the program and then we'll share with you all. But if you're a goat farmer, then you definitely know that hot water is one of the most dangerous diseases. And um, when it comes, are you able, can you prevent it? No. No. Wow. So, so you, you just- You can try, but- <laughs> It's, it's a, hard, yeah. It's a fatal disease. It's a fatal disease in wow. most cases. And then, uh, well, for us it's been. And, um, but you can, uh, with us, the immunity is built up a lot. Yeah. With mm. the animals that's been born here all the time. Wow. And the immunity is built because of the medication you've given, or what? 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 The, how do the you mother di didn't get it. The father didn't get it, and then most probably the child, or not most probably, often they don't even they don't get it. it. They get used to the ticks. They so oh, it's really? an immunity that that builds up. Hmm. So yeah, Verda was talking about the fact that if a, you know if the mother has built immunity and mm. give birth and the kid drinks the colostrum, he's yes. basically building that immunity. Yes. And even as he gets it, the more immunity he can build um, to block that. Yeah. So in a farm, you can intentionally build immunity to block it, yes. which is what you you have done. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad we are buying some goats from here. Hopefully, we'll get some immunity passed on. Um, into our, our goats as well because definitely parasites are like a key key thing yeah. in, in West you, Africa. You also find that how more hot and humid it is, the worse the parasites are. Yeah. So you have to do everything in your power to prevent them getting sick. Okay. Yeah. All right, some advice right there from the farmer. These are just knowledge, practical knowledge that we are sharing with you. We are nowhere lances like Verna is, but mm -hmm. hey, we can only share with you what we, we do try. and what we know. So this is an information from a farmer on how to treat, um, you know, hot water in goats. Do sheep get hot water as well? All right, so if you're a sheep farmer, then that's it for you for free of charge. Even then, cattle. And cattle as well. Wow. Yeah. There you go. So do this protect your animals from ticks and try and build immunity we've talked about the medications you can use um you know and good luck with your farm <laughs> thank, thank you, you so very much, much. <laughs>